Okay, IED, activity 2.2.6, we were talking about top-down versus bottom-up uh, design strategies, and we talked about how top-down being a uh, where you use parameters or parameterization in order to solve the 3D design models for really complicated objects. And, well, we're going to have to learn how to use parameters uh, or variables in Onshape. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Um, before we start diving into our uh, pin subassemblies, because if we want all of them to be re related off of each other, we really need to use variables instead. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to go to the top view, and I'm just going to make a bunch of circles. So I'm going to hit sketch, I'm going to click on the top view plane, and I'm going to just make several circles out to the side over here. So I'm going to go circle, and circle, and circle, and circle, and there's another one. Okay, just for the fun of it. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to now create a variable. So I'm going to click the green check mark, and I'm going to say, all right, well, I'm making a bunch of circles, so I want this to be a variable. I can only access the variable button, which is looks like that parentheses with an X in it. I can only access that when I'm in modeling mode, not in sketch mode. So I'm going to click on variable, and I'm just going to name, since we're just doing simple circles, I'm going to name this variable radius. I can't even spell radius. There we go, radius. And let's give it a default value of 10 inches. And then I'm just going to hit the check mark. And you'll notice over on this left side that it creates a hashtag radius equals 10 inches. The hashtag, like Twitter, is what we're going to be using to call out what our variables actually are. So if you just type in radius, it's not going to know what you're talking about. But if you type in hashtag radius, it's going to be like, oh, you mean that thing that's 10 inches. So I'm going to click the green check mark. And I'm going to go back into my sketch. I'm going to right click, edit, and get back into the sketch here. We have one, two, three, four, five circles. And I'm going to mess with these circles. So the first one, uh, I don't think we actually put in uh, a specific radius to it. So I'm going to just hit dimension and I'm going to click on the circle. And we should be able to type in a dimension. But instead of actually typing in 10, I'm going to type in hashtag uh, radius. Ooh, okay, yeah, see now it's see how it's not working. It just says new variable. I done goofed, and this is a very important thing to add to it as well. So make sure that before you start putting in your variables, make sure that your variable is before the sketch. So if you do the variable and then you do the sketch, it won't work and it won't identify the variable. So if you just did it like me and you're like, oh crap, why isn't this working? Make sure that you actually have the variable at the very beginning or at the very top. And then watch what happens. I'm going to go back into sketch mode. So I'm going to right click edit. And I'm going to click on that sketch mode. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click dimension. I'm going to dimension my thing. And it's going to say hashtag radius. See how it just shows up right there whenever I click hashtag? You can click that button, hit enter, and it will make this larger. Okay, now it seems to have made everything else. See, this one's 5.593. So I'm going to make this one hashtag radius, and then I can do math to this as well. So I'm going to do radius divided by 2. I'm going to hit enter. And so that gives me a radius, or I'm sorry, I keep saying radius. Uh, these circles are measured in diameters, so I probably should have named my variable diameter, but I, we're, we're, this is just, we're just playing around with it. So there we go. I'm going to click the next one, and then I'm going to do hashtag radius. I'm going to divide by 3, and I'll make it even smaller. And I can do the same thing down here, and I'm going to divide it by 4. So I'm going to go hashtag radius divided by 4. And the last one, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to divide by 5. Just do a little math to it. Hashtag radius divided by 5. Okay, so now I have five circles. And that's like the, tr the true power of the variables is going to be, if I were to take this radius variable over here, see how it says it's equal to 10? Now that I've actually set all of these to a parameter that says it is a radius of 10 inches and the hashtag radius is 10 inches, I can click over here and change this variable name. Let's say, oh, let's say I want it to be 8 inches. And then I can click the green check mark and everything shrinks down. So it's no longer uh, eight, uh, 10 inches. This is now uh, 8 inches. This is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. 
and so on and so on and so on. So the big benefit of using these variables or parameters in Onshape is that once you get a part going, if you set it up and you design it right, if somebody, if, if you need to make a change or if somebody else messes up or if your manager comes in and says, hey, I need you to reduce this down by 15%, all you have to do is just go in there and go to the variables and change it around and then everything's done. Uh, which is really powerful in the world of uh, computer-aided drafting. So it's an important skill to learn, and it's an important skill to start thinking about a top-down strategy when using these variables. So there it was. I uh, hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.